Every time I'm asked a question like that, I think, I wish I could show you what I see with my own eyes. When you ask that question, even though your parents are gone, they are standing behind you. And they look at you with such love. If they're gone, it doesn't mean it's the end. You haven't had time to say the right words to them. You can say the right words. Ask for forgiveness. Take away the hurt. Of course, there are cases where the offense is so serious, so complicated, that it is impossible to do it yourself. I'll give you a simple way that you can use yourself, and I'll tell you about the way we will do, that we will practice at our seminars, at our individual practices. When a child is born, his parents are the whole world to him. We may or may not accept them. We can rebel during puberty, ages 12 to 16, saying, I don't want to be like my parents because these adults are boring. I want to live my life to the fullest. But time passes and we act like our parents and our kids say, how boring these adults are. And what can we do? There is resentment against parents. The first and easiest thing I ask you to do is to write out your resentments because the characteristics of memory has this quality of forgetting, of mashing up the most painful moments, the most difficult moments. Suddenly, everything is forgotten. We are asked about something, and we have it all blocked. It is the ability of our subconscious to block because it hurts. We cannot psychologically get over this pain, but try to remember these moments. The tears will flow, let them flow, and when you write out resentments, imagine your relatives. It doesn't matter if they are alive or if they've passed into the subtle world. It doesn't matter anymore. Put a candle to clear the space. Just pray sincerely. Say with all your being, this was a lesson from God. Maybe I don't understand what it was about. I felt like I couldn't take the pain, but I am asking for forgiveness very much, and I want to forgive you. Even if you think your loved one was wrong, my dear, this is God's lesson. You must understand what it is given to you for. And if you want to work deeply, I am waiting for you. We will work together with you. But at least at this initial stage, do this. Write and ask for forgiveness and forgive. Of course, there are situations of sexual abuse, physical abuse, and betrayal that the soul can't forgive in any way. For such cases, there is individual work that is done with me individually. Maybe it will be a technique of working with your subconscious, Giyud session, the most ancient method. Maybe it will be some kind of practice, like for example, the practice time machine, when you will immerse yourself in your childhood. There are a lot of practices like that. But the most important thing is for you to write to me. Write what you need help with. Imagine you can live 20, 30, 40 years with this pain. A woman once came to me for a consultation. She accidentally saw my video on the YouTube channel because a friend sent her the link. Imagine what a good friend she was. She sent the link and saved someone's life. A woman of 40 years was in agony because she had pain resentment against her mother because her mother had left her when she was a child and that pain was unbearable. She had, you know, feelings like a torn wound in her heart. And when we started working with her, we found out that she didn't accept herself as a woman. She couldn't express herself as a mother to her children. She says, I scream all the time. I can't give a mother's affection and I don't get it myself. I get mad at my partner all the time. I have problems at work with my boss because she is a woman. And I see all women as a source of trouble, danger and my life is unbearable. I do not love women. I do not love men because I cannot forgive my father how he could allow us to be left by our mother at an early age. And this tangle has tormented her for so many years. And when we had four sessions of Gayud therapy with her, when she was able to forgive, to see the true karmic situation of all these problems, she looked at life through her mother's eyes. She cried and asked for forgiveness. And you know, the most wonderful thing that happened is that her mom was 80 years old at the time, and they found each other, and they were able to meet physically.
and they made up, and everything in the woman's life changed. Her relationship with her partner improved. She looked at her children with completely different eyes. She said, God, how many years I was angry. I already had grandchildren. I'm ready to give all this love now. And she began to give that love. Her relationship with her boss changed. The boss said, I appreciate you very much. You're my right hand. Everything changed due to the fact that we did karmic work with her. But she didn't need to wait for 40 years. She could have come straight away. Now you know the method, now you know the way. It doesn't matter how old you are. I am waiting for you to contact me so I can help you. After all, it is a great happiness to be in harmony with your parents, with your inner child. Life changes dramatically. Everything in life changes and you become totally happy. Don't wait until the last moment. Come. The spirits have brought you here. This means that you are on the verge of a new stage in your life. The discovery of superpowers, contacts with spirits, the uncovering of your predestination. All of this will be revealed to you at the next seminar. Follow the call of the spirits.